to travel 30 miles by train for his violin lessons. On the way, he would read Penny Dreadfuls, risque little magazines that triggered his fertile imagination. And no doubt, they inspired his sophisticated sense of humor. Another man with an excellent sense of humor, Mr. Burt Reynolds. We grew up together, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well, not together, actually. Well, we were in the same school. You were a little we older. Pushed together. You were a little older than I. I was older than Mommy you. Mommy used to take me to see you. You were the one that ran around saying, I want a sucker. And I said, <laughs> what? God, you're, you're 17 years old. <laughs> you shouldn't have that. We did a picture together also, did we Angel not? Baby, a biggie. Angel Baby. You were playing the town tough at the time. Rapist. A rapist? Rapist, yeah. I was the, uh, the, uh... You were the hero, I, I was the hero. Yeah, you got Mercedes McCambridge. That's right. Then there was cats, the cat dancing, and the, the table... Oh. The table turned a little, kid. Oh, didn't it? Why did I do extra work for you? Why did I do that picture? Uh, let's not get into that. Let's not get into cat dancing. Let me ask you, what, uh, what prompted you to do music? I'm asking you a straight question, Bert. Well, I don't, tell me about your I'm voice. I'm too dumb to be scared. Now tell me about your voice. No, my voice is... Uh, you never sang. Never sang before in my life. Then you never did, danced before in my life. No, but you did a very good album, which I heard. I love the but album. you like the album? And, and you're, 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 there were some songs I remember that had uh, sort of about your father in it. Yeah. Lovely album, I thought. Thank you. Very Thank good. You. Your dad was a musician, wasn't he? Yeah. Right. Which is a cross between a magician and a musician. Well, you said it, it is a yeah. magician. Yeah. And uh, I, I took singing lessons after I did the album, which is kind of strange. That's the way I've lived my whole life. But for, you took the singing lessons for the, for the movie? For the movie, I took singing lessons every day and dancing lessons every day. And uh, I thought we did a lot of you. Why? You're doing very well. My God. I don't mean to interrupt you. You're really doing very well. No. What is it? No. It, but do you mind? Do you mind? Excuse yes. me. Sit down. Please sit down. Won't you I sit down? Oh, I saw you an angel, baby. You were smashed. These were all rings made by George. Yeah, that's right. I did them side work. Yes. What did you think of him singing in the movie? Let me ask you that question. He was absent. I mean, to sing live. Nobody sings live today except those poor folk on television. I, and, and I thought... Did you coach him any? Tell me the truth. No. You didn't help him at all? Just in the dialogue, in this act. She did, that's not exactly what she really did. I sang, I I, one night I sang for her, and I was the most nervous that I've ever been. Is that right, the right English? Well, yeah. I did. Oh, yes, I understand. When did okay. you first meet Cole Porter? Oh, uh, I, you know, I really don't remember when I first met him. He's a very impressive man. I just remember always absolutely adoring him. And I, 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 when I met him, um, it was uh, one of the one of those big things like this, right. where everybody meets everybody else, and somebody said that's cold water, and the rest of the evening was like, um, you know, I'm spaced out. It, it, but everybody said he was snobbish. Did you find him? Oh, well, not in the slightest. Why? No, you I was afraid of him. Well, he, he was so much brighter than everybody else, and and you had the feeling that he uh, he was one step ahead. It was intimidating. It was intimidating because he was so bright, but he did it. He was a warm, sweet lovely man and a very funny thing happened there's a song they do in the in the picture that um has a, a, a funny history i went out there he called one afternoon and i was thrilled at it he wanted me to hear a, a score for a, a picture he was doing and i said i'd love to and i went out with my accompanist and we listened and we put our music on put the music on the piano and he said do you like it and i said i love it and which ones are you going to record and i said i'd like to do that one and that one we took the music home and i started to play it and as we got to the bottom of the pile there was a song and i said gee i don't remember this one and i the gods who nurse this universe think little of mortal cares they sit in crowds and exclusive clubs and i said gee that's a strange lyric so we went in and recorded it the next day. And I did it on the television show, and Cole called up. I was thrilled. Cole. 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 Sure. Did, did well, you I, I called him Mr. Porter. Party? Mr. Porter called up, and he said, where did you get that song? I said, from your piano. And I said, it's from the score. He said, no, that's not in the score. He said, that, it, nobody's supposed to have that song. And I said, well, it was somehow got in our music. So he was charming about it and, and delighted. What was the name of the song? I loved him. I loved it. It was yeah. a movie. Yeah, sure. So the song was just uh, amongst the It was a song things. that had been taken out of it. Ten Broadway shows he had done, and he had promised every producer that uh, that he said that he would, they would have that song in the show, and, and he turned them down because he, it really was written originally for Kiss Me Kate, right. I believe. Then he turned down everybody, and he, the song was never going to be released. He was so hurt about what had happened when they had taken it out.
Bert, let me ask you something. How did you prepare for the for the role? I, I mean, did you get into did you use Cole Porter uh, to, to get into his life? I know that it's not the Cole Porter story, but did you get into that at all? Did you learn anything about Cole Porter? Not really. I, I really uh, I felt that uh, it was a story about people in pursuit of of fun. You know, that they were so wealthy that they uh, that they had no worries about anything. And uh, I hope that that's what the people in uh, whatever state they're, they're in go see the movie about. I mean, there's, a, there's a whole thing about movies today that, that uh, movies are making more money than ever because of the, well, we don't want to call it a depression, but right. what's happening? Escapism. Escapism, whatever. And uh, Cole Porter wrote a kind of escapism music, and it was very happy and very up. And it's about very wealthy people in pursuit of happiness. And, and, and I, I had never been that rich that I had nothing to do with my day except to try to f have fun with it. Gracious, you're heavy. I'm awfully sorry. Well, what 